say low key. I mean, really low key. As in, I forgot to even pull my microphone closer to me. But it apparently popped up, so. Hello, Illuminati. Hello, HK Cavalier. Hello, you dirty rat. My regulars, my darlings. Kit, it's always good to see you. I love having you around. I hope you got some sleep last night. Nate, hello. Oh my gosh. Hi, everyone. I don't know what I'm going to do for this stream. I didn't even want to stream earlier. Like, I was just like, no, I'm not gonna. But I have to keep going. I have to... Well, stay lurking at least. That's not going to do it, cause any problems. Oh, that's right. Your kid still has a broken arm, right? Super, you do what you need to do, my friend. I'm not even sure what I'm going to talk about if I'm going to talk about anything. I'm, I may just like completely just zone out. Talk about, talk about game stuff. You do what you need to do though, super. You're doing more than I, so take that for what it's worth. You know what? I operate almost solely on spite and caffeine anymore. Like, it's one of those things where... <laughs> we gotta treat the cat-o, so let's treat the cat-o. Astrid! Astrid! You want the treat? You want the treat? Alright, let's... She kn oh, I have two cats on my desk. I had... Mara was in the basket, apparently. Okay, here we go. Okay. Astrid got her treat. And now Mara, since she's on camera, and she likes to take treats from my hand. There we go. Treato the Catos. We got a twofer there, guys. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Sometimes just seeing a, a face that you. Sometimes just seeing a friendly face is. All that's needed. Jesus Christ, here comes Hiccup. <laughs> Hi, Gordita. Your son, Kit, I swear, he is a troublemaker. He's definitely your kid. Take that how you will. No, so for those of you who don't know, I think everyone here knows already um, the Mid-Atlantic uh, One World by Night group lost a really bright light um, a couple days ago. And she is... Uh, She is sorely missed.
And that's, that's all I can manage to say without breaking down into tears. So I'm going to continue on with talking about how uh, hilariously in character stuff is going for my character, Jenny. Um, so I heartily encourage everyone who can and everyone who wants to, to come visit Sacramento on Saturday, August 14th because the shenanigans that are going to happen are they're they're going to be shenanigans for the books um you're going to be scene locked you're going to be scene locked how dare you nah, i'm just kidding you have fun with your scene man um Yeah, honestly, I had a, like, I didn't, I didn't think about, like, timing of other games when I was, like, going, yeah, I'm gonna do this, um, so. Come lurk, you can actually, if you want to play a nondescript Australian guy, you can play my ghoul Mac if you want. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Thank you for the lurk, no name filth. It's always appreciated. You know I love them numbers being up. So, yeah, 100%. If you guys have your characters scene locked and you still want to watch this, this shenanigans, um, for sure, for sure, talk to staff in Sacramento about playing an NPC if you want. I mean... It's gonna, it's gonna be interesting. I don't know if it, like, and now that I'm hyping it up, it's gonna be anticlimactic, but still, <laughs> you guys are going to see the rise of, the, the rise of something that One World has deserved for quite a long time. And I mean deserved in a bad way. I don't know if it's going to be a fuster cluck, but... And I mean, here's the thing. Jenny likes making ghouls and she likes, you know, putting, putting competent people in her roster. So you guys can very easily make a ghoul boot squad if you want. Just ghoul meat shields. If you die, you die. As long as it gives Jenny an extra round to escape. <laughs> Astrid. You silly, silly creature. Um. Yeah. Jenny's posse is literally just a group of mortals who, like, just want her autograph. <laughs> I'm not in trouble? How did that happen? How am I? Oh, I'm in trouble with Warwick, aren't I? Am I in trouble with Warwick? I don't want to be in trouble with Warwick. Oh, it's information. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Dang! Awesome. 
Super, I am really glad that you are here. I'm, I have... Everyone is in trouble with Warwick, they just don't know it yet, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, um, today's music is brought to you by White Bat Audio. Um, they are a channel on YouTube who do a lot of copyright free, uh, dark synth and, um, dark techno stuff. So if it sounds like a goth club in here, you can thank White Bat Audio. Hashtag, please sponsor me. Um. Please give me a fraction of your subscribers. <laughs> White Bat Audio is really good. Um, Aim to Head is also incredible. I, ha I have three subscribers, I think, on YouTube, um, which is like as many subscribers as I have on Twitch, so, you know, whatever. It, it's whatever. I I understand that me just posting my my VODs on YouTube isn't going to get me, uh, isn't going to get me viewers because they are, like, long form, two hour. Oh my god, my cat just... Alright. Um. Yeah. I still have to watch your latest video. I know, I'm a bad friend. Um, <laughs> I've just been distracted. Um, the big thing, the big thing is, is like, you have to get engagement. Sorry, I keep adjusting my chat box because I don't like where it is. I don't like the, yeah. I'm being very picky about things. Oh, she hit, she hit one of my function keys on the keyboard like usual. Um. You know, I, I'm not even mad. I'm not a huge Transformers fan, um, which is why I didn't immediately watch that video, but I know I, I want to like give you some engagement for support for sure. So last night I couldn't sleep. It was like one in the, it was like almost two in the morning and I finally just, uh, I finally just took a Benadryl. I was like, fuck it. Take a Benadryl. I'm passing out. That's that. Um, and you are funny as shit, Super. Alright, Kit is lurking. Thank you for the lurk. I always appreciate them numbers staying up, so I'll see you when you come back. I don't know how long I'm going to stream today, honestly. Like, it was one of those things where I didn't even want to stream in the first place. Because I am feeling listed. Capital S. Um. Hmm, I'm not sure. I did not ask you for anything. Be casual, take care of yourself. You know, that's why all I did was like eyeliner and lipstick today. Yeah, no, I. I very rarely have to tell my Echo to fuck off, but sometimes, man, it's it's worse in the kitchen because we have one of the shows, and um, it's uh, it answers it answers to computer. <laughs> I just think it's like she doesn't understand some accents. Uh, 
I am, uh... Yeah. I'm just impressed that I filled in my brows okay. A nod for is the is a uh, Nosferatu from Enoch. <laughs> yeah, she sometimes like if you put certain words together, the echo picks up and thinks that you said her name. I do not want to meet the Nosferatu that's in Nod or in Enoch either. That's a bad time. That's a bad time for everyone. Hell, I don't want to meet half the Nosferatu I meet. She just wants love and affection. Yeah. So, okay, so I'm gonna dish some tea. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about an in-character scene that's going on right now between Jenny and a person who was her assassin, but then she turned it around and like made the the assassin her bitch. Um, because it's Jenny. <laughs> Um, Le Gasp! Yes. Yes. Um, very lousy assassin. They sent a Bruja to do an Asamite's job. Oh. So, the, the guy is telling Jenny that she should fear Prince Gamley, and she's like, why? <laughs> and she's like I don't he did indeed fall for the honey trap I'm waiting for the for the Nos to give her the prestige of honey trap like she's already got siren but I want to be the honey trap <laughs> like I feel like that is supremely on brand with Jenny. Octopussy was not enough. Honey Trap needs to be the next thing that I get. I need to and well cause like I've got four NOS Prestige now. I need a fifth one, but I have to do, I have to get that at like a national event, which means I need to get someone at Glitter and Gloom to be like, yeah, so Jenny is a honey trap. And yes, I am greedy. I am greedy when it comes to status and prestige. I am 100% that bitch. Gordita, it is kind of a real thing um, in that the Nosferatu come up with nicknames, like deed names, basically, as a means to kind of have a hierarchy underground, but they don't pay attention to it, so it's really meaningless. Um, so, I don't know. It, it is what it is. Like, you can, use, you can use your prestige as, like, a handle on Shreknet if you want, or you can use it to, like... It's mostly just just labels to know who to go to for stuff. Like, for example, um, because Jenny is an architect, she has uh, revered as an architect. And she also has uh, an extra prestige of artisan for finishing the Marble Warren in, um, in Washington, D.C. So... It's basically like, if you need an architect, you go to Jenny. Or, alternately, you go to Bob Noss, who is in Columbus. Um, a lot of the, a lot of the Leatherface enforcers get, like, feared or something like that. I can't remember all the prestige, uh, names that... 
<laughs> Danny Ocean. Hell yeah. I didn't even remember that one that, that you have. Also, I'm curious, has there been any developments on the Baba Yaga thing? Or is that just still on, like, kind of hold because Heather is, like, not dealing with it right now? I figured I'd ask you since you are part of it or doing part of it or something. Um... As an Archon, I can say I have no fucking clue. Excellent. Love that. Love that for us. You should put that on a shirt. That belongs on a t-shirt and that... I... 1,000% do not give a shit about the Baba Yaga thing as long as it stays in Russia. Because Jenny's not going to Russia anytime soon. She hasn't been to Jerusalem in years, so she's not like... Hell yeah, man. That should be your official Playgrat t-shirt, though. I'm here because you broke something. Oh, I want to show you guys my bear, my, my, my beautiful bear. Um, my husband got me a uh, Build-A-Bear uh, for my birthday slash Christmas. It was, it was one of those like, it was one of those holidays. I love that for you. Yeah, I started saying that when one of my when one of my uh, FC mates started saying it in like in voice chat while we were doing raiding. Um, but so this little guy is my Disney bear. This bear is the softest goddamn thing ever. Bisbee, they uh, wear a skirt and combat boots because they are me in bear form. Um, and obviously, Slytherin pride. I, I understand it's okay to be wrong. It's okay to be wrong, super. I understand. Everyone's entitled to their opinion and, it, and everyone is entitled to be wrong. Yeah. But Slither Goth, Hufflepunk, we got it. We got it going on. Take no shit, do no harm. It's the other way around in most uh, in most instances. It's like do no harm, but take no shit. That's the modern Wicca, the modern pagan motto. no shit either. It does hurt after a while, man. 
I get nauseous. <laughs> I feel nauseated when, when that happens. You do have to take over the comedy sniper mantle. That was, that was... You rightly have inherited that. <laughs> so, for those of you who aren't into our inside joke here, uh, my sweet Madeline was what we liked to call a comedy sniper. She would interject with non sequiturs and one-liners that were just they just hit right and so so we called her the comedy sniper because she would literally just one shot one shot one kill <laughs> and she would just kill the whole room with just a single line man she was fucking hilarious Yeah. I'm tempted to actually um, do some create a sim stuff while I'm on stream. Um, I definitely have to throw in my... Uh, I have to throw in my mod that blurs everything out because I still have the sexy mod on my uh, on my Sims. It really is just a nudity patch and porn, um, but you know. Astrid, honey, what is your problem? She's like sitting at attention, like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> yeah, I want to take that that particular animation out because that was just stupid. Makes sense if you're if you your sim is a contortionist, but also not. Um You're shocked. Not that shocked. I'm shocked. Okay, so Here's a story then. I won't I I won't uh, I won't show pictures or anything. But so my patrons get to um, get like full pornographic sim streams when I decide to stream my sims on like Saturday or Sunday um, for them only. And the means like I've got I've got a porn mod which means that there's full contact sex, to, you know, everything. Um, including apparently an animation where your where your sim, your lady sim, has to be lady presenting sim, will literally sit like a goddamn cat with her leg up in the air and will lick herself. It's redonkulous. And I was like, I was just kind of minding my own business, setting setting her up to do some other stuff and the autonomy went and it just happened and that was <sighs> it just happened <laughs> like i don't know i don't know what else to say about that man but it was stupid and i i had to zoom in on it <laughs> yeah it was and they called it kitty style like the name of the animation is kitty style and 
I love Wicked Whims for all the mod stuff that it already has. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to fault it for what it, for what it does. Um, I am, however, seriously judging that particular animator. Like, really. <laughs> Honestly, even if I could do that, I wouldn't because I know where I've been. I dirty. I dirty. <laughs> it is work. Like, if I want to, if I'm going to get off, I'm going to just use a vibe and be done with it. Also, I don't like the taste of snatch. So, there's that. Like, if you like the taste of Snatch and you want to, by all means, go to town. <laughs> the logistics brain has kicked in and you're wondering, how the fuck does that happen? No, it looks terrible. It's, it's, it looks terribly unnatural. It, it, yeah. I need to just, like, stop being lazy, and I need to, like, just take that animation out of my animation folder. Considering how much it hurts to, like, twist forward, I don't think it would be even that enjoyable anyway. He actually managed to do it. Yeah, but at what cost? What cost? His mom found him. Balls resting on his lips. <laughs> I do like the taste of Dong. I will not, I will not lie. It just has to be washed. Like... Have good, ha, have good hygiene, guys. Can, can we all agree that washing your balls is an important part of proper male hygiene? Can we all agree on that? In general, to everyone, wash your junk. <laughs> balls resting on his lips. actually did it. <laughs> oh my god. I need to watch that movie again. My encyclopedia uh, my encyclopedic knowledge of clerks is fading away. Clean dick tastes like avocado. They did start filming part three. I'm excited to see what they do with it. Especially considering that Kevin Smith has, like, this budget now. I'm very excited to see what happens. I don't know if Clean Dick actually does taste like avocado, but I do like the taste of avocado. So... I'm very excited uh, to see part Clerks 3. Uh, 
Uh, you know what? I think I will do a taste test. However, I need subjects. <laughs> Nate with the... <laughs> Nate with the volunteer. Hi, Astrid. Hi. So, for science, I have to do a taste test to see if clean dick tastes like avocado. And I'm not talking guacamole, just avocado. So. <gasps> if it's for science. But I'm gonna need test subjects because not everyone tastes the same. Like, someone has to be the control group. We're gonna do this scientifically. Proper. Proper scientifically. <laughs> oh. This is why I will never get monetized on YouTube. Just saying. If you season your dong, it will burn. <laughs> it does, in fact, burn. It's like if you eat Thai food, do not put spices on your dick. If you eat Thai food and then lick your partner's asshole, you're going to hurt them. It's all about the proper seasoning. <laughs> Sour cream and onion dip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. Okay, so who? Oh my god, no, get out. You're you're fired. You're fired, dirty rat. You're fired. We all want our partners to be cumin, right? God. I can't take you anywhere. Rat is our um, is our pun master here in this chat, so he makes me groan in pain at least twice a day. dressing so it's like one of those things where I would do that as like vengeance
great, Astrid. You need to stop doing that. Like, really. <laughs> what a conflicted moment. <laughs> I really should have put in my tags that I was sex positive. Because Lord knows this is... This is getting raunchy. This is raunchier than my usual Friday night streams. Sex positive, ranch positive. You know, I actually do like ranch dressing. Of course! Of course, super! This is what I'm here for. That and playing video games, but you know, I'm here for the weirdness. Sex ranch, spawn ranch. I don't know if this counts as positive. Okay. Seems pretty positive to me. I love ranch dressing. Awesome. Awesome. Welcome back, Illuminati. You missed a very peculiar discussion that has made it so that I'm not going to be able to actually upload this VOD to YouTube. <laughs> All I'm saying is I can think of better things to do in a hidden valley than make some basic ass salad topping. Ah! <laughs> Why would you want to? That's the funny shit that you'd be editing out, man. Ooh, ooh, what's your Subway sub sandwich? Everybody, in the, in, in the chat, tell me what you normally order from Subway. I haven't had Subway in a while, so I need to, like, figure out what the fuck I'd be ordering again. Like ranch, ranch dressing is okay. It's kind of bland. It's kind of bland. It depends on how much dill there is in it. It can be zippy if you put enough dill and and, and uh, pepper in it. What do I order from Subway? Directions to Publix. Oh, Florida's here. <laughs> You don't order subs from Subway? I used to go to Quiznos all the time because there was a Quiznos right behind the condo that I lived at in Annandale. And, oh man. Their, their bacon avocado. Holy shit. That shit was mwah! Meatball subs are always a classic there was this um there was this place that we used to order from uh called andy subs and it was just a little hole in the wall it's like it's a korean catering place now but uh they had like i would always like when i was a kid i would always get meatball subs from andy's like it was just really great I have never even heard of Herberts and Gerberts, but the name of it is funny enough. I'm I'm told Firehouse is really good. I have not sampled it yet. Yes, the chicken carbonara. Hell yeah. I've never had pot bellies either. Like, literally, I would go to Subway all the time. And then I'd go to Quiznos. 
But nothing beats a true hoagie from Scranton, Pennsylvania. Let me tell you. Man. Glitter and gloom. In what was basically my freshman year of college because of where I lived and what I was doing, I ate mostly rice. Rice with like butter and salt. I was broke as fuck. I'm out of coffee. Um. <laughs> It really is the breakfast, lunch, and dinner of broke college kids. Rice and ramen. I don't know why, but I've actually been having like, an, like a craving for ramen lately. Like I want the noodles with the fucking sodium. Like I just want sodium. Give me as much sodium as possible. Now. I don't have any ramen right now. Get you a salt lick. Chicken bacon ranch is good. I I would get that whenever whenever I hit subway before game with super. Salty bitch. I am a salty bee. Oh, holy shit! Kimchi ramen? Fuck yeah, man! Fuck yeah! I would fuck that shit up! I miss living in Annandale because it was literally Little Korea. Like, by the time it. By the time I was getting ready to leave it, it was Little Korea. And they had some of the best Korean barbecue places. And like, it wasn't, it wasn't the Americanized version. It was literal Korean barbecue. Good shit, man. All right. I am actually going to take a break. Uh, I'm going to take a break to get more coffee. Uh... Let me, let me do a thing. I'm going to have to play an ad, possibly. I'm going to be, I'm going to be nice and I'm only going to play a minute ad, but. back going to get myself some coffee hit the loo no she clawed me she was like excuse me <laughs> she's she's a sweet girl but she just doesn't know that she's rough it's a bitchy high five it is a bitchy high five all right she just bit me. All right. Enjoy the music while I go AFK and get myself some more coffee.
I have returned. And I have more coffee. My Keurig is on the fritz. So I don't know what's going on with that. That's fun for me. Um, so anyway. <clears throat> I am contemplating what I'm going to do for the next two hours. Uh, let's say we make a new sim. What do you think, guys? You want to make a new sim? I'm tempted to make a new sim um, because I want to try the extreme rags to riches challenge or something similar enough to it that it's like a challenge actually. Um, but my thought was to make her like a fairy or something like somehow make her like fairy like um, in the Sims 4 I can only do that by making a spellcaster. Thank you for stepping on my keyboard cat. Um, <clears throat> and I have some CC that I can use to make her look even more elfy, fairy-ish. Um, so what do you guys think? Do we want to, do we want to do a little bit of some character creation here? I need to make sure that this, uh, actually... I need to do a thing. Okay. <clears throat> you might hear the Sims, uh, but I'm not gonna show it to you yet because I have to double check and make sure that it actually sensors <laughs> because if not I'm gonna have to um unload a thing before I can show it. So. Um. Da, 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 da. So I'm cranking up the Sims right now. We are going to probably do some really heavy duty, like create a Sim special shit. Uh, and I'm going to try, I'm, I'm going to try and see if the stream patch that I have does the, um, does the blurring when I make King create a sim. So, let me... does that. Alright, cool. So we are going to get started on create a sim. How's that sound, guys? Do we want to play sims? Even if you don't, I'm gonna, so... Alright. I have to I have to be responsible with my with my Twitch stream though. And I have to Why 
Why can't I do the thingy? Why am I not? You will have fun because you're going to be watching, right? Right? You're going to be watching, right? Okay, look. I'm just trying to make sure that none of y'all are seeing some, like, animated nipple, alright? That's what this is about. trying not to scandalize y'all with with animated nips and other bits <laughs> so I, I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to be doing. Um, Astrid, cut it out. character creation. Stop it. I have anything that I that I added include custom content there we go all right so I made this bitch last night she's pretty cool she's an animal lover um, she's a spellcaster. She's obviously a night elf. And basically, I wanted her to be the rags to riches thing. Um, I'm gonna do some tweaks to her face though. that her eyebrows just kind of float. Love that for you. So. We would all like to do some tweaks to our face. I would like to do some tweaks to your face. I would like to do some tweaks to my face. You know.
I managed to figure out, like, what of my CC, like, skin details I can put in that don't, like, take away my ability to do eyeshadow. Which is delightful for me, because, well, yeah. Um... But I think I want to make her a husband. What do you guys think? I know in the Rags to Riches challenge you're actually supposed to start her solo and you're supposed to start her with zero simoleons and whatnot, but I kind of want to... Tor and hubby are bust. Well, I have horns that I can add to... that I can add to a sim, but I don't know if I have a full-on Torin mod in this situation. We're gonna do a sim. That you guys want. I've, all, I've made my sims before and I've just started my challenges. Um, which reminds me, you guys, if you want me to continue doing the, the, uh, the Millionaire Gold Digger Challenge, let me know because I still have that I think she's on husband number three right now. Um, so there's that. But let's go ahead and make a really cool looking sim that we can call a fairy. I'm going to do a spellcaster because that will enable me to do... You fuck off. Yes. Um, that will enable us to do uh, pointy ears and shit. Stop that. What is this noise? Fuck you, man. Why, why do they do this? Okay, so I usually make chicks, but let's make a non-binary or a dude and go from there. How about that? We want to make a goblin. Well, first I'm going to remove the hair. Okay, so here we go. skin tones. We can make them green. Do we want to make them green? Remove his eyebrows. Please, God. Don't let Nate take this over. They do say it is not easy being green. All right, I don't like his eyes.
Okay, if he's gonna be a goblin, he's gonna have these teeth. I'm just saying. We're, we're doing this. We're doing this the right way. Alright. So, let me fuck with his ears. No. Yes. I don't like his face either, but... Alright. So we're making a goblin, I guess. We're doing this, I suppose. I don't like his face. We're going to be changing his face up, obviously. Those are the black eyes I have, or I can do that. My favorite gender neutral pronoun is comrade. I love it. I love it, comrade dog. Okay. So, all right. Astrid, shut up. Mortal is also gender neutral, and I am 100% here for it. All right, so we want to give him better cheekbones. I like this. Don't like his eye shape. I like dumbass. Dumbass is good. Astrid, you are just being a nightmare. It does have multiple applications. Okay, so maybe we're having different interpretations of Goblin. my gender identification. Excuse me. I don't like that nose. Okay, so yeah, your interpretation of goblin is different from mine because I like goblins. So.
I have way too many eyebrows that I don't use. I do know that there is a height mod where you can make like wow sized goblins, but I'm don't I'm not gonna do that because because I'm just not. So deal with that. like that. I want to change the nose. Change that nose. I don't like that. I do not like that. Jesus balls. I like that nose. I don't know why I'm turning him into the handsome. He's a goblin. I don't have to be handsome about it. But I love these noses. I love this nose. I want to make him a fey boy. That's what I want to do. like this because yeah but what do we want to do with his eyes do we want to make them like solid black like this that's kind of cool i like that goblin senpai <laughs> The cats are knocking. <laughs> That's the yellow eyes that I have. probably change the color a little bit somehow. Oh, no, I can't. Goblin Senpai. Ooh, ooh. What if I made his eyes red? Or orange? I actually like that. I do have a purple. I do have a couple different purples. That's like a luminous purple. Take care, super! To, or not to kill anyone. I know the temptation is real. And then we have like a dull purple. So we've got two different kinds of purples here. We've got the luminate, luminous one or the dull one. I also have lizard. 
straight up blizzard. <laughs> straight up blizzard. Oh my god, cat. Stop knocking shit off my desk. All right, so are we are we officially making like a kawaii goblin? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um. Well, he will sparkle because he's a because he's a spellcaster. Yeah. Um, he will sparkle because he's a, he's a spellcaster, so. So we have to figure out, like, hair for him. What? What are we waiting on? No, I'm not giving him an uwu face. Why does he have crow's feet? Does he have crow's feet? Does it look like he has crow's feet to you? that a little better. Made him a little less groomed. Alright. We have a lot of hair that we can go through, man. Like, a lot of hair. it showing oh my god am i why isn't it showing oh my god this is ridiculous all right well we'll just we'll just go through the we'll just go through it we'll just we'll just go through what each one i guess oh my god that pompadour ah oh, there we go ha ah, ah. justice for bald goblins Make him like really bald, like the bad kind of bald, like the scary bald. I don't like that at all. I'm not, I'm not vibing that. Like a wax hair piece sitting on top of his bald head. I like this with like the fade and everything. That's hot. Yeah, man. 
Alright. We're gonna just go through. Little, little cute man bun going on. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like the way that clips. weird. No. I really don't like that. <laughs> that would be funny. No, I don't like that. I mean, that's very goblin. I just hate the hair on top. Like, I don't like the way the hair looks on top. Jason Stakeums. What's a Jason Stakeums? Okay, I'm I'm listening cautiously. My friends, my friends who are definitely trolling me in this creation process. No, we're not doing the jorts. We're not doing jorts. Oh, okay. I don't hate fun! How dare you! I don't hate fun! or yum or anything, but your fun disturbs me. <laughs> I'm trying to make a like legitimate non-binary character here. Come on, guys. help you <laughs> George, are you oh my goodness uh, I kind of like this hair like this is cool this is cool hair man they are universally terrible I will I will agree with that that is why I don't want to put them on this character. Because they are universally terrible. And I have to look at this character while I'm doing this fucking stream and while I'm doing the challenge. Ya bitches. Oh, that's cool. I, oh, I don't like that now. Uh, that clip's weird. You like the majestic hair? I like the majestic hair too. Do we want to make the face a little more effeminate or? Cause I definitely don't want to do that. Yeah, that works. 
do we want to make the nose maybe like a little softer? I love this nose, but... Let's, let's... A little bit. All right, well, let's, let's see what colors we got for the hair. Like, this one is the one that's got multicolors in it, so it's got like a couple of different colors in it. So we've got like the salt and pepper, we've got like gold highlights. That's very wow goblin for sure. Um, we've got this red. Blue. That's very wow goblin. Like, give him blue hair, bright purple eyes, shark teeth. I mean, he's straight up a wow goblin. I'm not even gonna lie here. give him makeup too because I can't not Would probably do it I'm sure all right let's let's see what like oh the faces are so gross oh I don't like any of these faces like I was thinking about like switching to a face to, like as a jumping off point but I don't like any of those faces so I'm going to change the eyebrows Sweet. Slayer of 113. Oh, thank you for the follow. Hi. It's good to see you. Welcome to my shenanigans where I yell at my, my chat because they're trying to troll me <laughs> while I'm trying to make this beautiful non-binary goblin. <laughs> for so they are about as envy as it gets yeah I honestly don't know what they look like and I'm not sure I want to look it up I'm not doing like the Swintony thing at the moment. Trying to do a little more Tilda.
look. <laughs> Maybe I'm just being real picky about how I how I look at things. I definitely want to give them, I want to give them lashes, like nice lashes. Those are not correct. Let's try, can we try, oh dear. Okay, I don't like those. Let's give them drag lashes, right? Like, 1,000%. Where's the... There's the earrings that I want them to have. Yeah. I remember Tilda as Gabriel and Constantine, but that means I get rid of this majestic fucking hair. I'm not sure I wanna. Oh my god. This is a monster. Okay, those cheeks gotta go. This is... This is... Oh dear. I feel bad about this now. <laughs> Okay, but I like this. I like this hair a lot. Clap those cheeks! No. Yes. That is exactly what I'm doing. And you can't stop me, neener, neener, neener. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I definitely want to like make this jaw a little bigger, I think. Is this the sassy one? The sassy one or the sassy one? Bitch, you know it's the sassy one. Sassy. Um I don't I don't know about eyelashes though. Like I almost don't want to give them eyelashes at all. Like. Uh. Excuse me. There's no excuse for me. Um. I like this look though. What do you guys think? I'm kind of, I'm kind of vibing this. I'm kind of vibing this. I want to give him highlights. Highlight for the gods. Alright, let me do the opacity on this. Make it a little less noticeable. <laughs> I 
love this hair. The salt, like the, the gray with the blue. That's awesome hair. I am not mad at this hair at all. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, guys? I forgot to give him skin details. I forgot the skin details. This is important. Let's see if the, oh, is this, oh, okay, I, I, I guess. Oh, Lordy. Actually, I like that. This made him a lot more uh, realistic. Kinda down with that. Oh, nope. As you can see, my focus in my CC was not for um, male sins. I have realized the error of my ways. Or, or envy sins. I've realized the error of my ways, guys. Yeah. Do we want to give him any more piercings? Because, like, we got some eyebrow stuff we can do. And just make him a totally, like, just make him the punk that we always wanted. What? All the piercings. Yes. Okay, but I can't do that in The Sims. All right. So with the nose piercings, there's o there's options of the nostril or the septum, but you can't have both. <laughs> yes, it's house key on it. Oh my god! Stop. <laughs> I'll be right back, you guys.
back. I think you chased more people off stream than me. But that's okay. All right, so I'm definitely not gonna do the rags to riches thing with this guy. I think giving him like that's about what I can do. Like if I want to do multiple piercings, that's about all I can do. I don't like his nose anymore. I don't like their nose anymore. Damn it. I get that. Ignore me. Mr. Morphine, how are you? Ooh, I don't know what's going on with that. But. I can do two, yeah, I can do that. I need to put his plugs back on. All right, there we go. I like that. Honestly, that's better than nothing, so hell yeah, man. Oh, I don't like that nose any- Oh, I don't like that nose. What is with that nose? What is with the bridge of that nose? with that. That's weird. That's weird the way it does that. That is weird. Okay. I don't know. I like septum piercings a lot more than like nostril piercings. And I think this makes him look really good. <clears throat> What's gonna suck is that I have to do this for like all of his different like outfits and shit too. It's just the hair. That hair's got some volume.
<laughs> Do we want to give him eyeliner? Do we want to give him guy liner? Do we like the guy liner? What are we thinking? I like that. Eyeliner does objectively improve everyone. Okay. So, alright. Let's get him undressed. And we'll work with this. He was sparkles. All right. I'm gonna give him kind of big feet. <laughs> Sorry, I just got a message from a friend. All right, guys. Here we go. Perfect outfit right there. Tell me that's not perfect. I dare you. I dare you. That outfit is supreme. <laughs> Twink work. <laughs> it is perfect. Shut up. I say it's perfect. Why isn't it perfect? <laughs> Twerk. <laughs> Twerk. I love my twink orcs, okay? Oh, need sandals. All right, that's okay. All right, I'll I'll give you that. Do we want to give them gladiator sandals or just like normal ass sandals? Let's do some some regular ones to see how they look. 
Oh my god. Okay. We're gonna do no for the penis. Get others pregnant. That works. Crocs or I leave? I don't know if I have Crocs, honestly. I mean, you'd, you'd think that there's, there's Crocs available. I have something similar to Crocs. These are pretty close to Crocs. But no self-respecting twink would wear Crocs. Put the Crocs back on, Daddy. <laughs> Crocky too. Some wedge crocs. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I found them. the hiking sandals. I found them, guys. It's okay. Look at other other outfits. Still. I feel like this is a pretty good outfit for like ev for like maybe a party. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so let's let, let let's look for a different outfit because right now I'm not I'm not vibing this as like an everyday. Although it does look fucking fantastic on him. We could have him rock a crop top. Just like 100% crop top all the way. Okay, but hear me out. I like this outfit. I like this top. What do we 
you think of these cans? <laughs> you can't make me do jorts. I want to actually be able to tolerate looking at this character if I'm going to be playing it on stream. them in Moschino. Hell yeah, man. Oh, that's the worst. I don't like that. <laughs> Enough with the... No! <laughs> let's give him... Let's give him a, a thing with a... Oh, that's makeup. to Thomas Jefferson who said, give me jorts or give me death. No jorts. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make a sister for him too. Because I can't help myself. This just in, streamer hates joy. Shut up! I I just don't wanna put like I just don't wanna put jorts on a sim! Oh my god! <laughs> How can you say that I don't like joy? We should use they a little more. Their pronouns are he and they, so. I kind of like those. Not gonna lie, I'm into that. Ugh. I have to adjust the frickin' accessories again. Because Sims doesn't keep the accessories on. that one. 
Are you happy? He's kind of in jorts. I actually really like that outfit as like a regular outfit. I'm having trouble. I'm, I'm struggling. I'm really struggling. Cutoffs, though. And it's just a long shirt. It's not a long torso, it's a long shirt. I can get behind this. Bring out the himbos. I'm kind of digging this. Do we like the color blocks more or do we like the ugly sweater situation. goblin type twink because I like fun and despite what Nate says I am enjoying myself so we're going to make him we're gonna make them very very colorful like they they enjoy color and not necessarily cohesively oh no no no, 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 We could give them a nice, like, pencil skirt. Ooh, 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 that matches, that matches, that matches, that coordinates. Oh, yes. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it, though. I hate it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Why does this make my soul hurt? I don't know. I don't like this. I don't like this. We're gonna go with different pants. We're gonna go with a different bottom. I like the original one. 
These look comfy as hell. I imagine they just like things that are comfortable. Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you wearing the Dragon Con carpet? I have misplaced my pants. I seem to have misplaced my pants. Yo. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I have sandals that are exactly this cut. They're just all black. This is such a look. This is a fucking look, man. I envision them like handing me an IPA. Is that? Yeah, it's like, give me roomy pants that breathe so nobody can look at my junk and make judgments. <laughs> and I like the color, I, I like the colors of the sandals, so they're staying. All right, so this is a, I think this is too relaxed for formal, but I also really love this outfit. I might change it over to like the sleepwear or something. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I like this outfit. I don't know if it's a formal, if it's good for a formal outfit, though. Like, <laughs> like, what if we, what if we gave them something... with different shoes, maybe. Oh, no, no, no. I don't like that. I <laughs> like a character that's like, this is as formal as I get. That's because that's you. <laughs> you are like that, kit. <laughs> uh-huh. Prove it. <laughs> fucking shoes. Was he actually wearing the suit jacket or was it just draped across his shoulders? Come on. Let's be honest. some some like socks what do you think some like stripy socks oh I am digging this now I'm kind of digging this outfit.
Okay, so, all right, so we got the formal down. You can't stop me. All right, oh, I don't like those shoes at all. All right, we're gonna give him, we're gonna give them proper booty shorts. And a tank top. Hot pants! Yeah. Hell yeah. And let's do... Oh, I have to fix the accessories on, on my face. Hang on. That's annoying as shit. I hate that. Stop it. Okay, so, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's examine the hot pants situation, shall we? Ooh, I like that. I like that with the little, like, skinny... Skinny underpants. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go, my dudes. Oh my god. I forgot that I got this, like, whole pack of, like, 90s bullshit. Okay, we gotta have this. Yeah, we gotta have this. Accessories for every outfit because apparently I'm not allowed to have nice things. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. We go and give them. Speedo, I think. Or, or alternately. Oh, I love that. I love that for them. I love that. All right, we're done. We're done. We did. We did sleepwear already. Okay. So party, party time. Excellent. What in the world? Okay, I'll save the... Save the... Oh my god. Save the plugs. But those are wrong. Okay, everything else is right. So, alright. Let's do a party outfit. Shall we? Alright. Do 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 do
I'm just gonna start scrolling. Do, do. I love this outfit. I love this. I love this. I mean, they need, like, different pants, but I really am loving that. on this bitch. Sandals, let's go. Yeah, I like those. Yep. Alright, let me put some makeup on them. Because they don't have any of their eyeliner on. And I know for a fact that eyeliner improves everything. Yes! Yes! We stand our envy goblin. Oh, stop that. Give them a t-shirt. Yeah, I like that. And let's do... Gonna be entertaining. Alright, let's do this. God damn it. I hate. I really hate. Having to do this every time. It drives me nuts. Alright, hot weather time.
let's do maybe a yellow. No. This is too plain. I love the style, but I think this is too plain for our for our sweet baby bean here. I think they want more pops of color. They would want more color for sure. Color is everything. I gave you jorts. Are you happy now? Okay. I gave you jorts. You cannot tell me I didn't. Jorts are currently on this person. I really am getting like a, a Sulani vibes from them. So I might actually put them in Sulani to like kind of do the island living pack with them. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ugh. to this character is that I like their hair so much I didn't have to do any changes to it for any of the different outfits like literally it's just like what they feel like wearing and they don't change their hair at all because they like their hair the way it is okay so we're doing warm weather now or cold weather now let's give them Moschino. Hell yeah. Alright. Do, 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 do. Ooh, I like this. Ooh. I'm kind of digging that. Alright, I don't like the top now. But, <sighs> we'll, we'll figure it out. We will figure it out, my friends. I think we got it. Honestly. 
Do we want to give them gloves for their cold weather? Or... Yeah, let's, let's see what we can do. I want to give them a scarf. Let's see if I can give them a scarf. Does the scarf work? Will it work? Better than nothing. Okay. 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 But, uh, still a little shiny in spots, but I like that. I, I like that for cold weather. I think that works. Okay, so now we have to name, name them. And we have to... Rocco! That's a great name, actually. I like that name. Rocco. And we'll just do a we'll just do an island thing for them. Beach life, home turf. All right. We want them to be creative, obviously. We want them to be child of the islands and child of the ocean. Well, let me do something else. Adventurous. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah, we'll make them adventurous. Okay, so I've made Rocco our our Twinkie Goblin. And I think that's gonna do it for me because I still have to fish finish um I'm gonna do that I'm gonna make Rocco a sibling next time uh, because I'm out of time now but Thank you all so much for joining me. Um, it was kind of a shitty time. Uh, it's 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 been a day. It's been a week. It's been a month. It's been a year. It's been it's been tough on everyone. It's been tough on you know, the world. So thank you for joining me. Uh, I will probably pick this up again on Wednesday um, if we want to if we want to dick around with the island stuff on uh, with Rocco and his sister who we have yet to make but we'll make her and then see what we can do there. I love you all so so much and I'll see you guys next time.